Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to have a little bit of everything. There's a lot of cleaning, some cooking, a few errands. I have a Target run I gotta get today. Just a whole bunch of homemaking motivation. If that sounds good, stick around, hit the red subscribe button if you enjoy what you see, and I'm gonna jump right on in. Some of the cleaning in this video will be normal daily household cleaning, and some of it's more on the deep cleaning side. Like my first task, I have to deep clean my couch. I've been asked how I do it, and I literally just vacuum it down, and then I have a steam cleaner that I pull out to use. I will show you that in a minute, but that is my first task, is deep cleaning my couch. Let's just do a nice little close-up so you can see what I mean. You can see all of the dog hair all over it. But there's stuff that the kids from touching it have spilled right here. This is actually from Mako licking that spot. Hunter does it too. They'll just lick the couch randomly. But you can see just how bad it is and needs to be done. And I'm about to really upset him by making him move. I'm showing a close-up of the vacuum I used for the couch. This was a Mother's Day gift from my husband. He just randomly picked it up at Target. I've only been using it for a little over a month now. So far, I do really like it though. It's got very good power to it. So I would actually recommend this one if you're looking for a good handheld vacuum. And then for deep cleaning the couch, I just use my little green machine and any kind of solution that would typically go into a carpet cleaner, that's what I'll use inside here. I make sure to put hot water because the machine will keep it hot but it will not heat it up. So I use just hot water and some kind of carpet cleaning solution and that's what works on my couch and the chairs in my dining room. And I've used several different ones, the OxyClean, the Pet, the any of them really, they all do the same thing. The couch will take forever to dry, so I do put a fan on the first half of it when I finish it, and I will work on the second half, and then I will move the fan as needed until the couch is dry. I had some extra solution, so I wanna do a few of the bar stools that looked really bad. So this one right here is the before and after of just this one. And then I'm gonna show you the nasty watercolor that was from the machine, just so you could see how well this thing works. I mean, that's awful right there, but it's so great at the same time. Ran out real quick to pick up my Target order, and of course I stopped in Five Below because it was right next door. So I'm just gonna open these real fast and show you what we have. I can't take the tiny humans to Five Below without the five bags of candy for $5. They just love these. Brianna's really obsessed with like the frogs. So we always get that. Then they had this personal little wind machine. I wanted to pick that up for the kids because it's summer. Mako is nine months old today, so I got him a new rope toy. I've wanted these for my car for the longest time, so I finally caved and bought those today. Declan needed a new screen protector for his Switch, and of course Gwen got a new coloring book, and I was not gonna say no to that one. Ignore my dirty floors, but I would say he's excited. There you go, you can ask. All yours. First thing from Target, I needed more of these baskets. We got a shelf outside in the garage that I need to organize, so this was like the main thing I had to get. And then over here to the small stuff, Declan's been loving his summer book, but it's really small, the one from Five Below. This is like three times the size of that one. So I bought him the regular one in Target because they were on sale. 
some Vaseline. This is like a mascara, not a mascara, haha, a foundation that I've been wanting to try for a while. So I finally picked that up. A new detangler. I'm trying for Gwen's curly hair because everyone I try just sucks. S'mores, graham crackers because the kids love them. More rinse aid because I was completely out, almost out of cascades, so I bought more of that. Brianna has this little rash up her wrist, so I got two different things to try it, and we've already opened this one, that's why it's like that. But I got some stuff for that. There is the decaf version of my chai latte for like nighttime. More of my face wash, sunscreen because it's summer and while we have to. I was out of my power wash, and then some carrots for dinner tonight. Tonight's dinner is a very easy crock pot recipe. You just need chicken tenders, breasts, thighs, whatever you wanna use, some chicken gravy packets, cream of chicken in the can, and some sour cream. I am basically doubling, so this is over two and a half pounds of chicken. I'm gonna throw in there a cup and a half of water, and then all of these things, and season to taste. Yes, I use crock pot liners. If you don't, just skip that step, but put all of your chicken in the bottom, I mixed everything in a bowl and whisked it just so it would be all incorporated before I put it on top of the chicken. And it said season to your taste, so I'm just gonna do black pepper and then a complete seasoning. But then I just poured it all over the chicken, mix the chicken up into it a little bit, but push it all below any of the liquid, and then put the lid on and turn on low for four hours or high for about six. But my crock pot's fast, so even on low in about three and a half hours, this will definitely be done. So you guys know that I've had this thing forever. I love it, it's from Scrub Daddy, but it's been having some problems and been leaking around here. I think my husband dropped it months ago and that's what was causing the problem. And I searched on Amazon, couldn't find anything close enough similar that I liked. So of course I caved and I bought a new one. And I have been trying this Easy Squeeze by Dawn because it's got the thing on the bottom like this does, but I really like the pump top and that's why this just won't do it for me. This is good, I like this alternative, but I still enjoyed this top. So in my order, that is my new soap dispenser. I'm trying one of their damp dusters. I've heard good things for like baseboards and blinds, things like that. So I'm trying one of these out. And then these were really interesting to me. They are scrub babies. They're for smaller hands. So like when the kids do dishes, or I have very small hands. Like my ring is a five and it's big. So I think these will be really, really good to try. So that's why I got a pack of those as well. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay? When I blame you for the things that weigh me down I've been using the scrub baby for a few days now and I will say I do like it it is just slightly smaller than the original but it works really well for my hand like you could see here the size difference and there is a thickness difference to it but it cleans just as well as the original and it does fit on my faucet which was the true test for me so I'm good with either one and then I'm using the blade again in my kitchen. I do really like this double-sided blade. It's just so much easier to have them both in one place. And then a typical Mrs. Myers. I use two different scents in this video. This one I use the Daisy. And then later on you'll see me use the Rose scent. Works was doing a really good sell this week and I had a 20% off coupon so they had the pink watermelon like I had last year such a great candle for summer and the throw on this thing is ridiculous you can smell it 
throughout my entire house when I burn it. I've only burned it once so far, but again, it just arrived this week with some more soaps. I got these four right here. They all smell amazing. This is kind of like my transition for the end of July, early August, like when the kids start to go back to school. These three will go through with the rest of summer, but that one right there smells just like one of those um, 4th of July popsicles. That right there is what that smells like. I don't burn a lot of candles over summertime. I mostly rely on my Scentsies or some kind of spray for the house, but that candle, I, I just absolutely love it. This is the second summer in a row that I made sure to buy it and burn it because it is just absolutely perfect. All right, but now we're in the guest bathroom. Ignore that, that's my teenager. He's gonna come get that and do his load in a few minutes. But in this bathroom is where I store all of my extra soaps. So I'm gonna show you guys where I put that because I do need to clean it up a little bit. To their cabinet, this side is where all of their individual stuff is. Toothbrushes, deodorants, all of that go in this drawer on this side. And then I hide the hairbrush up there. And then on this side is kind of like my run over area. These baskets hold a lot of stuff. And then the middle is like big old bubble bath bottles and things that I don't want tipping over in these baskets. Like this top basket, it's got all like the big bath toys and the color changers and then my daughter's bath bombs and bath salts. All that stay in this top one. The second one is literally just random junk. This is the vase that usually sits on the counter in here. My Scentsy for when I really want to plug it in in this bathroom, but these are heavy so I don't really like to use them in my switches. And then one bottle of soap, which shouldn't be in there. And then just some more bath bombs, a random other plug-in, just random junk in that one. And then down to my extra soaps. Because they do last longer than just the one season that you'd be buying them for, I do have a lot in here. This one I still have to use for the kitchen for this summer. I bought it a couple months ago. But I have tons of Halloween and fall in here. And they all still smell perfectly fine and I'll be able to use them this year just like I did last year so I won't have to restock any of that this year. What I decided to do since this is pretty full right now just from the fall and the one Christmas that remains I decided to clean out this extra basket of just random crap. I put the three bath bombs that were in here that were any good in Brianna's drawer over there and then the other bath toys, I put them in the top basket. So I'm just gonna put things like this in here in the back. And then that should leave me plenty of room to store these in this basket. Oh, okay, yeah, it works. Everything's in there. So now both of these are mainly hand soap. This has a few other things in it. And then that is all the kids' extra stuff they could just grab and throw in the tub for easy access. Yeah, and of course, another bath toy. That was out of place, but now it's in there. I just had to run in my kitchen to turn this noisy thing off. Anybody have the little nostalgia egg cooker? I want to get a dash. I've heard they don't have the same annoying sound, but look, almost every time one of my eggs will explode no matter what I try. And I do poke the holes in the top like it says, like you see them there, but now this is just horrible. While looking for a bowl to make dinner, this cabinet situation really irritated me and just this is what happens when your kids put everything away out of the dishwasher and they say, I don't know where that goes. It goes to this cabinet. Here's just a better view for you guys. Like, this is really bad. Cutting boards don't even go down here and they know that. So I just, I don't, I don't understand. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video today. And if you have enjoyed what you've seen so far, I do hope that you consider subscribing. These are the type of videos I do make, mostly kind of like get it all done, tackle the to-do list level of videos, cleaning, cooking, tips, hacks, mom stuff, holidays, all that can be found over here. Tons of real life messes. If any of that sounds good, stick around. This is a perfect channel for you. It is a lot of fun over here. And especially once the holiday time comes, it gets a bit crazy around here. Good.
couple hours later. Just take some fork and break it apart in there. I don't like to fully shred this like I'll do chicken tacos. I want this more in chunks. But I like to do this about 30 minutes, maybe even an hour before I want to serve it. That way all the chunks get all of the gravy around them too. All right, here it is plated. I just have it over rice tonight. You could put it over rice, mashed potatoes, whatever you really want to do it with. Just did some green beans, call it easy. I put a little parsley over the top just for some color, but again, that's up to you. But this always turns out really good and my whole family eats it. Moving into just basic after dinner cleanup, loading what can go into the dishwasher, and then hand washing anything that cannot. I do not put my pots or my knives in the dishwasher because it can ruin them, so I refuse to do that. And I don't have a lot to hand wash tonight, but just a little bit. And then I will scrub down my sink as well using the power paste. If you have not tried this yet or you are not really interested in it, you can always clean your stainless steel sink with baking soda and Dawn, it is a fantastic combination and it will also get out any little rust spots or anything in there perfectly. So if you don't wanna try the power paste, don't even worry about it, you can do it with baking soda and Dawn. Trying to get the puppy to not lick the cleaning solution is always such a task when I have to do the lower stainless steel appliances. And then I realized while I was doing the refrigerator, I never showed you what I was using. It is the Method Glass Cleaner. That's all it is, is the basic one you could buy in Target, Grove, whatever. That's just the basic mint blue one. Wiping down the dining table is an every night task in our house. There's five children, kids are messy when they eat, it's just how that works. I don't do the floors every night. Usually we'll run the vacuum if we really see something that's necessary, but I don't mop every single night. I mop probably about twice a week, but this needed to be done. You can really see my floors if you're looking. We still have a lot of work going on in the backyard, so the dogs are constantly tracking in dirt and mud all over their paws. So I am having to clean the floors a little more frequently right now, but usually it's just twice a week. done, kitchen's done, the majority of the house is finished. I'm gonna go ahead and play with the kids before it's time for them to sleep. And I mean, obviously, what is he doing? He's sleeping against the wall. I mean, crazy dog over there. But the only thing left I have to do really is probably give him a bath. And I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do that because it's getting too late at night and I don't want him jumping into my bed sheets soaking wet dog because that's the first place he goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Got tons of motivation to get things done around your house. 
If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe for more like this one, and I will see you in my next video. Good night, guys.